What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I wanted to kind of give you a, a midday update on exactly what's happening in the crypto market, because the crypto bloodbath is continuing. Things do not look great for the overall crypto market, which honestly, if this continues all the way up until April, it will suck for a lot of people. I believe that we will find a way to approach that $2 trillion market cap, and we'll have some positive news mixed in here, because we don't really have much news that's really coming up besides the Bitcoin halving, besides the potential settlement, which it doesn't look like we're close there. And um, we have situations that are looking strong for the crypto market when it comes to the SEC versus uh, Coinbase. However, we're not seeing that translate into positivity, into positive movement within the crypto market. So with that being said, Let's look into crypto overall, see how it's functioning, see how it's moving, and then, um, you know, kind of get an explanation of what's going on um, from there. <clears throat> if you guys could, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, if you want to check out any of the links that I have down below, feel free to check out those links. You can follow me on Twitter. You can also uh, follow me on uh, Patreon, if you want to follow my personal Patreon, as well as the HG Access Patreon. And don't forget about Marjex. I have a link for Marjex down below where you can start trading with leverage. If you feel like these are going to be very low points for you, investing at these spots might be great. Um, you know, Bitcoin's approaching some low levels, and I think it's, uh, you know, always fantastic to understand that you are at a lower point. Is this the lowest point? Honestly, we don't know. Crypto market is so uh, confusing at times. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into what's going on. So in the crypto market, when you go in here, you're going to see a lot of um, what looks like a bloodbath, right? Uh, the overall market is down by about 1%. You're seeing this at a $1.66 trillion market cap. And it doesn't really look that bad when you look at the overall market cap, but everything seems to be falling down to lower levels. And the crazy thing is that it's consistently 1% down, even though it's a moving 24 hours. So even though we were at, let's say, uh, 43 over here, you know, we're still seeing it move uh, down and we're seeing it flow down. So as it's moving, it's still consistently down 1%. When you think it would stay flat, because once it's down 1%, it stays flat. But and then if it goes along, it'll, you know, be down that 1% for the whole day. But since it is a moving 24 hours, a consistent 1% drop is like having a 3 or 4% or maybe even 5% drop throughout the day. That's not really the best situation. <clears throat> so if we look at Bitcoin, it's currently below the $42,000 mark. And if we actually go over here to Margex, you can see more of a picture of exactly you know what we're seeing here. So it goes from here at about 43 and then just drops off. And then we see that this low level of about half of uh, half between the 41 and 42 uh, area. But right now it is climbing. Uh, we don't know if it will uh, stay up there. There is a little bit of a resistance that's right there. But the point is, is that, um, you know, everything seems to be falling. And you can see that in a lot of the uh, different positions or plays that I have here. You know, some of them, you know, are, it's still up $74, but some of them have now turned red. Other ones have turned more red that are down here, these two. And then some other ones have lost a lot of their green, a lot of their positivity within them. So Bitcoin is down quite a bit. You're seeing Ethereum that's down 2%. Solana that's down 4%. XRP that's down 2%. That has pushed below that 56 uh, cent level and now at 55 cents. Cardano down 2%. Avalanche down 4%. A lot of red in the market. As you scroll down here, you're seeing a ton of red. And this is in the top 100. Out of 100 plays, you probably have, what, 10 that are that are green. And those 10, you're probably going to have maybe six of them that are stable coins. Like, that's, that's how we really stand, right? And even some of the stable coins, you're seeing those as red. Uh, USTC or USDC uh, sitting, it was green and now is red slightly, but either way, the point is, is that you're seeing majority of the market that is red. If we look at the things that are green, we can see Maker, we can see, uh, you know, CFX, we can see Tron that's green, BNB that's green, um, you know, then Litecoin that's slightly green, but everything else after that seems like 10 different positions in the top 100 um, is red, and it's not looking great. 
Uh, if we look at things that have fallen the most, you see Thorchain that's down, SEI that's down, Beam that's down quite a bit. If we go to things that are trending and then go over to uh, biggest gainers and losers, right, we're going to have some things that are down a massive amount. Let's go to the top 500, um, not to worry about the things that are gaining. Let's worry about the things that are losing, right? We have Jitto that's down by 13%. Uh, TRB that's down by 13%. That was just up to my cost basis of about 160. Um, so now it's back down to 137. This moves very, very quickly to the downside or the upside because it has such a low supply. But Jitto is down 13%. You see uh, Flix that's down 18%. Thorchain, again, that's down. You're seeing SEI that's down quite a bit. Vayner Chain that's down, um, you know, 10% or 11%. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that are down quite a bit everything seems to be down on the day and it's a lot of negativity now that all comes from uh, at least from what i've seen within the conversations of where the crypto market will be and what's to come right there's a lot of conversations on um how or where will we be at uh for bitcoin where will we be at for ethereum and xrp and all these other things because there's no new news that's that's happening right there's nothing that's going to you know, be brand new right now. We have the ETFs and we can really only push out information on how much people are supporting and um, buying up these ETFs. That's pretty much it. And we have some negative news on the Terra Luna Classic side where it, it could be, and I still think there's not, there's still speculation behind whether CDC is going to delist, um, you know, Terra Luna Classic, which we've seen um, so many emails that have come across my desk to tell me that this is true. Um, in my live streams, a lot of people have told me, look, I received the email too. I didn't receive it because I don't have Terra Luna Classic. So I would imagine that would be the case. <clears throat> but either way, you know, there's a lot of negativity that now lines up because now we're leading up to the having, and people are trying to get prepared for the having. And it's not something that may be a buy the rumor, sell the news. It might be, and as we get closer, it might be that. But right now we have a a, a little bit of information, um, a little bit of news, and majority of that news that's coming through is negative We're, you know talking about the sec or uh jamie diamond talking about how crypto is a, a scam and how you know they think that people shouldn't invest directly into bitcoin and how blockchain is is a scam and all this other stuff that they believe as executives and don't want to be a part of what bitcoin is or even be a part of gold and as they compare it there it shows how little they know but they also have a lot of influence on the more traditionalist investor, especially people that are investing into ETFs. Now, there's still a lot that we can bring to the table when it comes to gains and stuff like that. These could be great opportunities for people to buy at these low levels, but it's all up to you. I'm not gonna tell you to purchase. Um, I'm going to continue to purchase as much as I possibly can because I wanna hold more and more XRP, more and more CRO, more and more of a lot of things that I have. So. Let me know if you're buying anything during this uh, bloodbath right now. And uh, hopefully by the time I post this video, things are looking fantastic. But who really knows? So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to uh, check out my link for Marjex, feel free to do so. That link is down below as well. I'm going to get out of here. and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.